Hello again and thanks for joining me for your latest update from the Met Office. The weather is going to quieten down a little bit as we go through the end of the week, but it's this weather system waiting out in the Atlantic that's going to bring some very wet and windy weather as we head through the weekend. That's because it's an unseasonably deep area of low pressure. A little bit of uncertainty as to the exact track it is going to take, but as you can see for many it does look like Saturday is going to be an unsettled day. Back to the here and now and you can see there will be some showery rain across parts of Scotland as we go through Thursday evening and down the eastern side of England as we go through the early hours of Friday morning too. Particularly northeast England, I am expecting some heavy downpours here. Elsewhere and towards the west and south of the UK, we should see some clear skies developing, but temperatures aren't going to drop much. That's because it's going to stay quite blustery and quite cloudy for many of us. Bit of a cloudy start then, particularly down the eastern side of the UK and some further heavy showery rain. All of that then is going to feed its way further south and southeastwards as we go through the day. Into the afternoon, expecting some heavy, perhaps even thundery showers to develop across parts of East Anglia, and there's the risk of some hail here too. Otherwise, and towards the west, I'm expecting some bright sunny skies to develop, and temperatures should be generally in the high teens, low twenties. For many, winds will be lighter than they have been of late, particularly in the southeast where the temperatures will be highest. So if you do get any decent sunshine here away from those showers, it should feel relatively pleasant. As we go through the end of the day on Friday, we are going to see most of the showers easing and clearing away. That's then ahead of the wet and windy weather I mentioned earlier that's sweeping its way in from the west. So turning very wet across parts of Northern Ireland overnight and then that rain reaching parts of southwest Scotland, western England and Wales later on as well. Temperatures not dropping a huge amount, unsurprising because it's going to be so unsettled. That wet and windy weather then will continue its progress across England and Wales as we go through Saturday morning. We do have a number of warnings in force. A rain warning for parts of Northern Ireland with 40 to 60 millimetres of rain possible in some places and a wind warning across parts of Wales and south southwest England because we could see gusts of 60 to 65 miles per hour, particularly as we head into the afternoon. So looking back at that rain then, it is going to continue its way eastwards as we go through the day and it's worth noting that whilst the heaviest rain for the parts of the the southwest will be during the morning is in the afternoon when the winds are likely to be strongest. Also worth noting perhaps that across northern parts of Scotland it's actually looking like a largely dry day, some decent sunshine here as well. Temperatures aren't going to be particularly exciting, generally staying in the mid-teens, could just about get into the high teens in a few places, but when you factor in the wind, the rain, it's going to feel quite unpleasant for quite a few of us. Now if we look at the bigger picture as we go through the end of the weekend and into next week and you can see well the low on Saturday is going to clear away and that will allow for something to turn a little bit dry as we go through Sunday and into Monday but then another area of low pressure is going to arrive as we head into Tuesday bring some more rain. This isn't going to be as severe as intense as what we're expecting on Saturday but it is just going to be a bit of a damp day. There's more information on the warnings that we have for this weekend on both the Met Office website and our app and of of course, we'll have more information on all of our social media channels. I'll see you again soon.